People keep asking if we're alone in the universe. For ages, we've looked at the stars, wondering if there's life out there. Well, NASA just said that the James Webb Space Telescope, our best tool for looking at space, found something big. They've spotted life on a planet called Proxima B. This is huge and could change everything we thought we knew. Let's check out the mysteries the telescope found and what this could mean for us. The James Webb Space Telescope is amazing. It can totally change how we learn about the cosmos. It's got fancy tech and it's in the right spot to let scientists check out stars, galaxies, and planets super far away. One awesome thing about it is its huge mirror, way bigger than Hubble's. This lets it grab even the faintest light from way out there, spots other telescopes couldn't even see. Before, folks just guessed about what was out there. The Webb Telescope lets them actually see it in detail. Plus, the telescope has all sorts of instruments that pick up different light waves. One of them, called NIRCAM, takes pictures in infrared. This is great because that light can go through dust clouds, so we can see deeper into space. NIRCAM can watch stars being born in galaxies. All this helps us learn about the early universe, where galaxies came from, and find planets like Earth that are really far away. And ICAM shows us how galaxies are put together and change over time. Another tool, called NIRSpec, breaks down light from space stuff into colors. This tells us how hot things are, how fast they're moving, and what they're made of. It helps scientists check out stars and galaxies more closely. They can see what's in them and how things are interacting. It also gives us clues about how stars and galaxies live and die. One main job for the telescope is to study galaxies super far away. By looking at the light from them, astronomers can figure out their age and what's in them, which helps us piece together how they changed over time. Then there's MIRI, which looks at longer infrared light. This helps us see things like stars, planets, and dusty spots where new stars are being born. MIRI also lets astronomers peek at the air around planets, telling us what's in it, how hot it is, and if life could survive there. The places where stars are born are really cool. These clouds of dust block normal light, but infrared can get through. Thanks to imaging, scientists can watch stars and planets being born, figuring out how it all works. MIRI also helps find planets by looking at the faint infrared light from their air to find water or other stuff that could mean life is there. When looking for life on planets, the telescope uses a few tricks, checking out the light and steadying the air. Even if a planet doesn't have plants or oxygen, it doesn't mean there's no life. Figuring out how light is absorbed or released by something is super important for checking out the air around planets. When a planet goes in front of its star, the telescope can watch the starlight pass through the planet's air. This leaves clues about what's in the air, so they can figure out what molecules are there. The telescope uses MIRI and NIRSpec for this, covering different light waves to get the full picture. By figuring out the colors, scientists can make models to learn about the atmosphere. The main goal is to look for anything that might suggest life, like oxygen, methane, and water. But finding those things is just the start. You need more stuff to be sure if life is possible. Another trick is to look at the data from different planets and figure out what they have in common or what's different. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you liked this video, hit like and subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot stuff in the air around planets that might indicate life. It's a major step in searching for life outside Earth. It can see far off planets in detail like never before. As scientists look at the info, they're getting new ideas about where life could be out there. This telescope lets us look way back in time and see the universe as it was just starting out. By grabbing light from galaxies that formed billions of years ago, we can learn how the cosmos changed over time. These observations give us important clues about how stars, planets, and galaxies formed. Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope is helping us understand space in general. It can take super detailed pictures of galaxies, stars, and other things, which helps scientists put together the history of the universe. Each new discovery challenges what we thought we knew and makes us think differently about space travel and makes us wonder what else is out there. 
Looking ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope will keep giving us amazing stuff. The things it finds could change how we see the universe and the future of space trips. As we go farther into space and look for life, the James Webb Space Telescope will be key. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope is a totally different ballgame for space trips. It can see far-off galaxies, spot planets, and search for life, which is a big deal for learning about the universe. It's got awesome tools and can do things we never could. The James Webb Space Telescope is ready to flip how we think about space and figure out the secrets of the cosmos. Since the James Webb Space Telescope can check out the air around planets, it can search for hints of life on other worlds. The instruments are so good that they can see planets and their air really well. By finding things that could mean life is there, like oxygen, methane, and water, it helps us figure out if planets could have life. But it doesn't just look, it makes comparisons to Earth, which helps us figure out which planets could support life. By looking at the light from stars and planets, scientists can see what things are made of. This is really important for figuring out if planets might have conditions that could support life. The telescope can also see hidden stuff, like stars being born in dust clouds or planets forming. Usually we can't see this stuff with normal telescopes. But because the James Webb Space Telescope uses infrared, it can see through the dust and show us details we couldn't see before. These observations help us understand how things are born and change in space. When James can work in both near and far infrared, it means we can totally new ways of studying how stars live and die, and how galaxies are put together. Its instruments are made to look at the light from galaxies, stars, and other stuff. Scientists can look at what things are made of, how old they are, and how they're put together. This lets us understand how galaxies changed, how stars form and die, and how planetary systems formed. The James Webb Space Telescope can also possibly reveal the early stages of the universe. By looking at light from the first galaxies that formed after the Big Bang, scientists can figure out how the cosmos has changed over time, and how it's still changing. The data the James Webb Space Telescope collects will definitely have big stuff to say about space travel. As scientists look at the info from stars, galaxies, and planets, they'll learn new things that challenge how we figure things out. These discoveries might change how we see our place in space, and might open up new questions and stuff that might be possible for exploring space. When searching for life on planets, the telescope uses things like how light is absorbed and what the air is made of. Even if a planet doesn't have plants or oxygen, those things aren't always needed to find life. Spectroscopy, which is studying how light interacts with things, is super important when checking out planet air. When a planet passes in front of its star, the telescope can see the starlight going through the planet's air. This light leaves behind clues about what's in the air, which scientists can then study. The telescope uses MIRI, which looks at mid-infrared light, and NIR spec, which looks at near-infrared light. Together, these tools can see a wide range of light needed for a good look. When starlight passes through a planet's air, it tells us what the planet is made of. The telescope looks at these signals to find molecules that might mean there's life or conditions that could support it. By finding certain light patterns, scientists can make guesses about the planet's air and weather. One of the main things the telescope wants to do is find biomarkers, which are things that are linked to life, like oxygen, methane, and water. Even so, finding these things is only the first step. We need more info to know if a planet is really able to have life and if there are signs of living things there. Another tool, Comparative Indicator Spectroscopy, helps the telescope look for life by checking out light data from different planets. What do you think about all this? Leave your thoughts below. The James Webb Space Telescope can spot stuff in planet air that might mean there's life. It's a huge step in the search for aliens. The telescope's combo of tech helps it see planets really closely. As scientists keep checking out the data, they're finding new things about whether other worlds could have life. The telescope lets us look back in time and see the early parts of the universe. By catching light from galaxies that were made billions of years ago, it gives us a chance to study how the universe changed. These things give us hints about how stars, planets, and galaxies were made, as well as the stuff that shaped the universe into what we see today. 
Besides looking for life, the James Webb Space Telescope helps us learn more about space. It can take detailed pictures of galaxies, stars, and other space stuff, which helps scientists put together the story of the universe. With each new find, the telescope keeps changing what we think about space and making us think about what's possible out there. As we think about the future, the telescope will keep being a key tool for checking out the unknown. What it finds could really change how we see the universe and what we do in space. As we go further into space and look for life, the James Webb Space Telescope will be really important. Basically, the James Webb Space Telescope is a fresh start for space stuff. It can see far galaxies, find planets, and look for signs of life. It is a big moment in trying to know our universe better. With its cool tools, it will change how we study space and show us space secrets. The James Webb Space Telescope can check out planet air, which is one of the coolest things about it. It lets scientists look for signs of life on faraway worlds. The telescope's tools help us see planets and their air really clearly. By finding important stuff that could mean there is life, like oxygen, methane, and water, the web gives us a way to know if other planets might have life on them. It also helps us make comparisons with Earth, so we can see if planets like ours could have life. By using detailed spectroscopy, the telescope can break apart the light from stars and planets, giving scientists an idea of what these worlds are made of. This is really important for knowing if planets might have places where life could live. The telescope's ability to see infrared light also means it can spot hidden things. For example, how stars are made inside dust clouds or how planets grow. These areas are usually hidden from regular telescopes that use regular light. Still, the telescope's infrared helps it look through the dust and show us details that we couldn't see before. These help us know more about how space stuff is born and changes. Also, the James Webb Space Telescope can see both near and mid-infrared light. This opens doors to new ways of studying how stars live and how galaxies are made. Its instruments are made to study the light from galaxies, stars, and other space objects. This lets scientists see what they're made of, how old they are, and how they're built. It will all help scientists see how galaxies changed, how stars form and die, and how planets come to be. Another great thing about it is that it can show us the early parts of the universe. By studying light from the first galaxies that were made after the Big Bang, scientists can get ideas about where the cosmos came from. It's super important because it can help us know how the universe changed over billions of years and how it's still changing. The telescope's tools help it to look back further in time than before, catch light from galaxies that were made billions of years ago, and show us the start of the universe. The data that the James Webb Telescope collects will probably change space exploration. As scientists study the info from stars, galaxies, and planets, they'll be able to make new find that questions what we think we know about the cosmos. These find could change how we see our place in the cosmos and open us up to new questions and new future possibilities. The telescope represents a big step in our mission to check out the universe and answer some of humanity's biggest questions. Whether it's finding new planets, studying far galaxies, or seeing signs of life, it is changing how we know things. As it keeps going, we can expect finds that will change our info about space and our place in it. In short, the James Webb Space Telescope starts a new age of checking things out. The tools it uses and where it is in space makes it one of the best ways you can create for learning about the universe. From looking for life to showing space secrets, the telescope is ready to show secrets that have been hidden from us. As we see what happens in the future, the find from the telescope will change how we see the universe and our place in it.